Judy, the abduction plot against Governor Gretchen Whitmer involved accused militiamen from Michigan, Wisconsin, and Delaware, according to federal law enforcement officers and others from states where they believe the U.S. Constitution was being violated by leadership. At a meeting in Dublin, Ohio last June, investigators say 15 militia members discussed murdering, quote, tyrants or taking a sitting governor. The FBI began an investigation earlier this year after becoming aware that through social media that a group of individuals was discussing the violent overthrow of certain government and law enforcement components. Although authorities say the alleged plotters began looking at targeting leaders of various states, they eventually zeroed in on this woman, Michigan Democrat Gretchen Whitmer, who had placed tight restraints on personal movement during COVID, angering civil libertarians and President Trump. Hate groups heard the president's words not as a rebuke, but as a rallying cry, as a call to action. FBI officials say the plot included blowing up bridges to stop police and taking the governor to Wisconsin to put her on trial and possibly execute her. Tonight, the governor appearing strong and thankful but shaken, hoping for this outcome. Bringing these sick and depraved men to justice. As a mom with two teenage daughters and three stepsons, my husband and I are eternally grateful to everyone who put themselves in harm's way to keep our family safe. Michigan has long been mecca for radical militia groups. The last federal prosecution involving a Michigan, Indiana, and Illinois group called Hutari also promoted a new civil war, shut down in 2010, but all the Fed's cases fell apart. And tonight, according to the state arrest affidavit for these two men charged by the Michigan Attorney General's office, the Wolverine Watchman Group is described as an anti-government, anti-law enforcement militia group, and its members engaged in firearms training and tactical drills to prepare for the boogaloo, a term referencing a violent uprising against the government or impending politically motivated civil war. Monday of this week, the I-Team reported on increasing concerns about Illinois Boogaloo militia groups attempting to incite a race war. Now a few days later, an apparent Boogaloo connection to a kidnap plot against Michigan's governor. What isn't known yet is which other states were being considered for attack and who were the potential other governors and leaders. We asked Governor Pritzker and Illinois State Police several times today and have not received any replies. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.